Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's currently 9pm and I'm doing my maths homework in the night because I was unproductive all day. I've just had a really chill week this week. I think I watched the most amount of movies I have ever watched in one week. I watched High School Musical, the original Mean Girls, the new Mean Girls and A Star Is Born. So I'm now up to like 1.7. I've done all these five chapters here and I'm up to this one. I still have to do these three chapters, but I think I'm gonna do this chapter and take a break because I cannot just sit here and do all the chapters at once because I will go crazy. Finish exercise 1.7. G minor, set the minor third up, so G, two, G sharp, one, G sharp to A. I'm gonna eat that up. Guys, my brain skills have told me it's B flat harmonic minor. And let's see if it's correct. Oh my god, I ate that up. I'm actually so smart. Thank you. Oh, I finally finished. Boop. Ew, oh my god, my screen is so dusty. As my holidays come to an end, I'm just trying to enjoy the last few days of freedom that I have before I have to go back to school. But that also means that I have to get back into routine and obviously starting my day at 9pm is not getting back into routine but I promise I will work on it in the, in the rest of the vlog and also next week. A word that I want to bring into 2024 is creativity. I can get consumed by school really easily to the point where I'm simply living for the next assignment or test. I think this is a really sad way to live life. Especially towards the end of last year, I neglected my creativity and physical health for grades and extracurriculars. In order to live a more fulfilling and enriching life, we have to be creative. Recently, I've been watching many movies, reading books, and listening to really insightful podcasts. Creativity to me not only means creating art, but also consuming art and culture. Movies and books are really just vessels for filmmakers and authors to convey their messages. They have something to say, and by listening, we can apply these lessons to our own lives. Not rainy. Hey guys, it's 12 p.m. and I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago, hence the cap, which is disguising the bed hair. But I stayed up pretty late last night until like 3 a.m. because I was reading Cairo and I finally finished Cairo. I've, I feel like I've been reading this book for like five vlogs now because I'm actually a really slow reader. I used to be one of those kids who could get through like a series in like three days. Like I remember reading The Hunger Games literally in one week, like all three books. But that kid is no longer me, and now I take a really long time to read. I love this book. It's called Cairo by Chris Wormersley, and we were forced to read it for our English class. But I just love this book so much because it's a book about art. It's a book about deception, morality, love. And of course, because it's set in my home city, Melbourne, Australia. So if you ever want to learn about the city that I live in, um, you can check out this book because it has a lot of places you can actually go to, like the NGV, the National Gallery of Victoria. Basically, the story centres around 
an art heist where this group of friends steal Picasso's Weeping Woman painting. And you can literally go see that painting. And this is a real robbery that happened, but it's like a fictional tale about what could have happened, essentially. Anyways, I've decided to charge my Kindle and start a Goodreads account because I think reading is in for 2024. I need to start reading again. Hi guys, so I did not sleep last night. I was watching High School Musical and then I finished that and then I was just scrolling Pinterest and YouTube. So it's currently 6.30 and I'm waiting to go for my run, but then it started raining and now I'm kind of in limbo and I'm waiting for the rain to stop because it has stopped, but I'm suspicious that it's going to restart and I don't want to go running and then it starts raining on me and then I'm cold and then I get sick. Okay, so... I've just resorted to wearing a cap and a hoodie and I'm running through the drizzle. But it feels good to get my heart pumping. Guys, this is so disgusting to say, but I think I'm on a run as hard. Like, why am I running? Why am I like choosing to voluntarily run in the rain? Very wet run so far. My socks are kind of drenched. You dig yourself into a hole It's just one of those days You just can't take it Don't tell what Chinese pizza there is Because I have pizza this morning as well Why? Like, for breakfast, breakfast. For breakfast. Pizza. I have pizza, pizza for last time dinner <laughs> And I ordered three <laughs> Morning guys, I just got back from picking up my blazer from Embroidery. I gave my blazer like before Christmas and I called them yesterday to ask if my blazer was ready. No response, went to voicemail. And then randomly they texted me, so I don't know if that motivated them to get a move on, but I finally got my blazer back. I got the words technical manager embroidered because I'm the technical manager, obviously. Today I have to do biology evolution because I have a bio class and we're going to move on to human evolution. So I just want to revisit those concepts and familiarize myself with it because it's been a while since I saw it. I think the last time I did bio class was before Christmas, so this will be a good refresher. So I just finished my biology class. We went through human evolution and like primates and hominidae or whatever it's called. And that was an interesting class, but I am so tired now. So I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and finish my evolution notes for the whole topic of evolution. It's actually quite a large chapter. And then I'll be fully done with VC biology notes and I can just go on with reviewing. Learning the content is always a bit slow in my opinion, but I love reviewing the content once I've learned everything. I'm coming out with a study guide in the, the next month, so look out for that if you want any study tips on how I do review. Also, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in the study guide video, please comment them and I'll answer them in that video. 
I am finally done. After literally three hours, I'm so tired. I'm taking notes for biology, but I'm glad it's done.